really enjoying WRC Rally 8, but there is a propensity for the vehicles with the default setups to understeer mid to late corner. This is causing very spectacular crashes with trees, spectators and sheep getting decapitated. Uh, unfortunately though, it's uh, damaging my stage times. So in this video, I'm gonna quickly go through the car setup screen so that uh, you can change the car setup to make it, in my opinion, drive a lot better, a lot more enjoyably and a lot more controllably. So uh, let's go. Right, we're in quick rally mode here and we're just gonna go to the car setup page and you'll see that you've got basically on the car setup option you've got the classic and advanced options when you click the advanced option you get more options there to change uh, which could be a little bit intimidating but uh, don't be intimidated by it because it's all actually quite simple and uh, really nicely when you hover over stuff you get a bit of alt text which explains what everything does so uh, I would highly recommend actually going through stuff and uh, reading the alt text to learn how uh, car setups affect the car but for our little tweak here, what we're going to do first is we need to move the torque distribution of the car to the rear so that when we get on the power, the power is coming from the rear rather than the front. Um, a lot of these rally cars are all-wheel drive, so you get to choose where that power is being delivered. Uh, in this case, we're do using the WR WRC2 rally car, so we're just going to move that, uh, the torque distribution to the rear. As you can see, a minus distribution gives more power to the rear axle. I've actually already moved it down here. By default, it'll be on like 50 or something. I tend to like it on 40, 40 or 35. Um, let's just keep put it on 35. Let's go max rear aggression here. Press enter and that's set. And then on the differential, the other big setting uh, is the limited slip differential for braking. And uh, what you'll notice with this is, uh, you can't see the alt text actually. Basically, what we want with this is uh, when we, put the brake on we again we want the car to be more unstable on braking so that the uh, so that the back comes out uh, and makes it easier to turn to the corner and reduces the just the front to wash out and understeer so a high percentage improves the cornering while braking but decreases stability so we're going to move that you see that on the screen there yeah we're going to move that i saw actually on our setting there so <laughs> we've saved it from our previous setting by default it's probably going to be around about 40 or 50 We've moved it up to 70. You might like it probably more around 65 or so, but I like it super sensitive. Uh, it's worth saying though, with those settings, that um, you might have to brake softer. Like you, you, the back of the car will be more sensitive doing this. Um, and as a result, you might not be able to brake as aggressively uh, for, for maximum stage time. So uh, you, you're probably gonna wanna adjust this a little bit if you're finding that the back's too tail happy so you can't get as much braking on and slow down as quickly uh, as you possibly could if you if you uh, made this a, a lesser setting. As I say, this is more for fun and for enjoyment than it is raw stage time. The other setting we're going to change is the brake, the uh, brake by setting, which is obscured by my camera. So you're going to have to take my word for this. There's no way for me to move it out of the way. Move the camera! Uh, by default it's going to be around 50 what we're going to change it to is we want to we want to again move the brake bias to the rear so that again on the brakes uh the, the 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 car is applying more brake bias to the back of it and the back is tending to come out as it loses grip as it loses grip before the front of the car so we're going to set this to uh let's we're going to set it to 40 default again is going to be around about 50. Sorry you can't see that on the screen. We've set brake bias. <laughs> imagine a 50 here. We've set brake bias to 40. Don't imagine a 50, imagine a 40. But uh, that's basically it for those settings. We can come out of that now and we now have a total tail happy beast. Oh, actually, before, before we leave that, you can uh, save your setup and just call it uh, G call it GM killed me there you go so as I say that it is a rather extreme setup change and it's not ideal for 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 time or speed or anything but if you're suffering from mid to late corner understeer and uh, driving into people that will probably make it a lot more enjoyable hang on a minute I've not got my gloves on yet so I'm just gonna drive a little bit with that setup every single car in WRC8 
uh, has its own setup screen, so you can uh, you can tweak and adjust setup for each car, and then when you save it, you can load it from those options. Uh, and it's also du worth double checking when you start a stage that it's actually loaded the, uh, the the setup that you actually want, because sometimes I found it doesn't seem to load it by default. Uh, so here we go. One hundred and fifty. And, but these setup changes for me have they just made the game so much easier to drive so much easier to drive because as soon as you get on the brake rather than the car just moving off the off the stage and you're then hitting some rocks on the side or whatever it just turns in and responds immediately to the brake pedal and I always find when with simulated cars, this might not be the case with game pads, and it might depend on the type of your type of driving style. But for me, in simulators, with with road cars as well as as well as uh, rally cars, I always find when the car rotates easily and responds to the inputs quicker, it, it makes the sim feel more snappy. And it makes me actually feel like I've got more control of the vehicle, which then increases the enjoyment because it it means when I do crash, it's my fault. It's not because I've just slow, slowly understood off corner. That well, <laughs> the curse of recording. Unfortunately, you do have to listen to your co-driver and be aware of corners that are coming up. Otherwise, you know, if you go too fast into a corner, there's a limit. <laughs> there is a limit still, unfortunately. There's no, you can't just set up yourself to, can't set up yourself to skill. But uh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely awesome. Another thing that I've done in terms of uh, changing the input and control of the car is um, the steering sensitivity of the of, of the uh, the steering input. I'm actually um, by by default the game I think runs at oh, too fast into that again. By default the game runs at. Um, I can't even reset the car. <laughs> Well, let's not talk and drive. By default, um, the game, I think, sets the wheel at f uh, 400, 540 degrees rotation. I run with the Fanatec wheel. I set the wheel up to, like, uh, what was the sensitivities on, like, 350. Um, I've not quite settled on that yet. I'll probably go up a bit higher. But f just for the nature of this, of this uh, rally game, having the sensitivity higher and having the car on the actual the actual onboard view here um it, it just makes it just makes more sense it makes the car a bit more snappy a little bit loose of course it depends how loose you like your steering that's that's all up to you but um there you go guys i hope that car setup thing at worst i say it's probably not the best setup there, there will be better setups out there but hopefully for those of you that load it up and are just under steering off and you're like oh this is bloody frustrating hopefully that setup gives you a starting point for getting the vehicles a bit uh, a bit more enjoyable to drive a bit more tail happy uh, if you've got a better setup or you know a good place for setups drop it in the uh, comment section of this video so it'll be helpful to other people and let me know in the comments what you think of this setup if you think it helped you if you if you think it made you slower and it was a stupid idea or if you hate my face just type that in the comment section that's what people normally type and that's all good so uh subscribe like, drink plenty of cups of tea. Until the next video, thanks for watching, guys. Happy rally driving and goodbye. <laughs>